still turn it up, let it bang. Run with me, I bet you can't. Took too much to make it flow, never will I let it sing. So we reinvented it. Great matchup of two teams, a great atmosphere. It's time for football. We're here again for another great game featuring two very solid teams. Thanks for being with us as the Titans get set to take on the Bears. Welcome to the game. Al Michaels and John Madden here broadcasting live. So pull up a chair and relax because this is going to be a good one. We've got two great defenses, and for this team, their anchor up front is this guy. He's got amazing strength, and he can toss an offensive lineman like a rag doll sometimes. And let me tell you, every quarterback knows how hard he can hit. I wouldn't be surprised to see him force some quick throws with his ability to collapse a pocket. Anthony Thomas will have to be at his best against that defense if he's hoping to help carry his team to a victory. He'll also try to get him out of the backfield, hit him on a few screens and dump offs. He's a threat whenever he has the ball in his hands, so don't be surprised to see him touch the ball over 20 times throughout today's game. Look at him down there. Now this is a team that comes ready to play. Heck, I even think I see a coach jumping up and down a little bit. And the captains are out there ready for the coin toss. Both teams have taken the field, and let's see what happens now as we're ready for the kickoff. We'll go back to the play on the field. Edinger the comes in to kick off. off to start the game. Number 41, back to return. He gets the kick away. He got all of it. That was some kick. Yep, and all he could do was watch it sail over his head. McNair sets up. Give him the handback. The interior lineman jogged it off the ball very well on that play. Yeah, and the key to stopping that kind of run is exactly that. Whoever fires off the line faster and gets better leverage is going to win those battles at the line. Changing things up along the defensive front. George. Eight-yard game. So, John, we have two of the most talented defenses in the league featured in this game. Yeah, both of these teams bring a lot of talent to the table. Neither has any glaring holes in their front seven or in their secondary. So that makes it very dangerous on the defensive side of the ball. Third and four. All on the 26-yard line. Another run. They'll mark it at the 30. And the handback. Picks up about three. This is a good special team play. <laughs> Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. Here's the kick. He's waving for the fair catch. The offense is heading out onto the field for their first drive of the game. Right, we got to execute out there. There's no second chances. Thomas in the backfield. Under pressure. He's looking. Throws it. Great pass. Breaking through. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chain. Try not to get too predictable out there. Make sure you got a good mix of run and pass. Miller sets up using motion. Let's go. Come on. Pass play here on first down. Stepping up. And I'm sure we're going to see a lot more blitzing before this one's over. No, that I will. He struggles when he's facing pressure up the middle. So bringing extra guys trying to get additional pressure can be very effective strategy. Booker goes in motion. Pressure coming. Throwing. And the catch is made. And he's ridden out at the 
30-yard line. Be patient out there. When you see an opportunity, that's when you attack. But don't force it. Come on, Set. Get the ball, man. Man in motion. Hand it off. He can't wrap him up. And he's tackled at the 24. Five-yard pickup on that run by the tailback. Second and four. Ball on the 24-yard line. Set. Come on, get up. Drops back. Pressure. Gets rid of it. Nice adjustment. Miller doing an excellent job on this drive. Things are really slowing down for him right now. He's seeing the coverage and finding the open man with ease. He's really in some kind of rhythm out there. Set. Sixth play of this drive. Come on, come on. Is that all you got? Huh. Get the call again. Picked up nine on the play. are lined up in an eye. Set! Yep, yep. Lose it, lose it! Closing in, throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Bears! And he's able to get open in the end zone. Great play. The defense just seemed to lose track of him down there. They have to do a better job keeping the play in front of him so that that kind of thing doesn't happen. Edinger comes in for the extra point. And it's on its way. The point after is good. What you can't ask for much more out of a drive that gets you into the end zone. Yeah, that was a nice job of keeping those chains moving and avoiding costly penalty. Now they've got to see if they can keep this momentum that they have established going for the remainder of this game. It's on its way. <laughs> Loose ball. The Bears scoop up the live ball. I thought he might challenge this one, but sure enough, it'll be reviewed. The call on the field is questionable. They might decide that they made an incorrect call and reverse it. I thought he was down, and then the ball popped loose, but it's difficult to tell from this angle. And mostly, the official is seeing what we're seeing. So it's inconclusive. The call will stand, since he needs to be 100% sure to overturn a call. To be charged a timeout. Clearly, the coach thought it could have been reversed, but it didn't turn out that way. That's one of those calls where you just want to be sure the officials made the right call in the field. It didn't get overturned. The coach has to feel better now that he knows it wasn't a bad call. Miller sets up. Looks like he's changing the play. He hands it off. Picks up five. Get the ball to the open man. You can't give him an easy pick. They line up in the I formation. situation here. You guys can't make mistakes here in the red zone. Run this play and pick up some solid yardage. Set. First and goal. Ball on the eight yard line. Sideline to sideline. Man in motion. Let's go. Come on. Off to the tailback. Slips the tackle. Touchdown. Bears. We're going to see what happened here. This is a bruising run. He gets it, and boom, he pounds his way in for the score. Edinger comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up, and 
the extra point is good. Well, they began with great field position and took full advantage by getting a touchdown on it. And as a defense, you have to dig in there and hold them to three when you're put in a position like this. But that sure isn't an easy task when you're facing an offense that can move the ball like these guys. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the one-yard line. The 30. Tennessee has to get to work quickly, trailing by two touchdowns. First and ten. George couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole. But he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. Hand it off. Setting up play action. Breaking through. Can't bring him down. The quarterback packed it in and decided to scramble. Making sure the other team respects the run when the ball is in the quarterback's hands is important. You want to make sure that he doesn't try and do it too much, though, and get injured on the play. some good ground there. Hey, nice job up front. Holding their block and allowing him to get a good run for a first down. Drops back under pressure. He's taken down in the backfield. The blitz worked to perfection. The defense loves to bring extra rushers from all over trying to create pressure. Obviously, they'll have to make some adjustments to their protection scheme to prevent plays like that. Using motion. Ball on the 42-yard line. Get all you got. Get in there. Steps up into the pocket with the pass. He was there, got his hands on it, but just couldn't make the catch. Yeah, and the receiver dropped it. He was either thinking about the hit that was coming or the run after the pass. But you have to think about the catch first. Chicago calls a timeout. They have two timeouts left. The Titans line up in the shotgun. Ball on the 42-yard line. Drop back, drop. Bring the pay. And this is the sixth you play of this drop. Pressure coming. Rose is a perfect throw. He hit his man with the touch pass. And that's the kind of play they practice over and over again, where he just floats it out there where only his receiver can get it. Del Greco comes out, hoping to put points on the scoreboard for the first time. And it's up. And the kicker got all of that one. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. He got all of that one. From the one. They've really taken control of this thing as they head back out on offense. The defensive coordinator was going over some things with his guys on the sideline. Maybe they made some adjustments that are going to slow them down. The Bears line up in the shotgun. Robinson comes in motion. Dropping back. Rowan. Clearly, they were on the same page on that play. These days, offenses rely on a short, quick pass, and the receiver gaining lots of yards after the catch. Looks like he's calling an audible. Shelton moves in motion. Lost by the left. So they'll lose yardage on that tackle. They went backward on that one. And they ran right into the blitz. They should have changed the play at the line. Maybe an audible to a sweep or a pass play. Something like a quick slam. Tennessee comes out of the quarter defense. Set. Using motion. He's looking. Rolling right. Gets rid of it. Pass ball's incomplete. Chicago has jumped, and we're ready to start the second quarter. Let's 
Mesa into return. Here's the punt. From the 39. So not a bad return. It's time to see what the offense can do now as they come back out onto the field. The coverage guys got downfield quick enough to prevent anything from developing. The quarterback gets set with only one They'll back behind him. Pressure, rowing, and he hits his target. How about that speed? Great individual effort. He throws lasers all over the field. He can throw them short, he can throw them long, he can throw them medium, he can throw them anyway. Hook out right! Get! Get! George! Trying to find some room in the middle, but there was both place to go. I'll tell you what happened. The defense was coming with a lot of guys in a run blitz, and the hole that that play was supposed to go through was filled with defenders. George, play action into the open at the 30. Using his feet, he scrambles for a nice game. You know, that's what your quarterback has to be able to do. When everything else breaks down, he can run and pick up a first down for you. To the air on first down. Closing in. Rosa. And he hits his target. He's inside the 10. Touchdown, Tennessee. A nice pass. A nice catch. And it goes for the score. That was just a solid play. That guy was not going to be denied. Now Greco comes in for the extra point. And it's on its way. And the extra point is good. Good job moving the ball the length of the field for the touchdown. Scoring a touchdown not only puts points on the board, it sends a message to the other team that if you execute properly, they won't be able to stop you. And they say 90% of the game is half metal. I think down in the kick might have been the better option, John. You can't really fault the returner for trying to make a play for his team. He just needs to be a little more patient while making some better decisions when he decides to bring the ball out. Miller sends a man in motion, looking for room, under pressure, and he's walked down in the backfield, and the quarterback gets dumped for the sack. His receiver might have had a step to the outside, but the rush got to him just before he could get rid of it. The Bears using motion, dropping back, no chance to get it off as they close on him very quickly. The defensive coordinator teaches his guys to be a very aggressive out there on defense. He has a lot of confidence in his cornerback. He's willing to leave them out there in single coverage on an island. So they'll blitz on just about any down, looking for a big play. The quarterback is back in the shotgun. On the one yard line. Using motion. He surveys the field, rolls right, launches it deep to the left. Incomplete pass. Sidney was right there to break that play up. He's got great recovery speed, and he can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. This will be his second punt of the game. Here's the kick. From the 45-yard line. He picks up a few yards on the return. Not the coverage team had him wrapped up before he could do anything with it. At the 36-yard line. First and 10. Eagle left. Come on, partner. Take him out. Running left. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. Call this defense here. They need five. the field, throws it right on target. That'll move the change, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. This back loves to hit the defenders when they come close in for the tackle. He sees the hit coming, lowers his shoulder, and then boom, the defender's left lying there in his back. Uses to go down. And he stopped at the nine-yard line. Here's a good defense for this situation. It's second down at four to go. Ball on the nine-yard line. Uh, 
Again, he'll get the call. George couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws can be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. Touchdown, Titans. What a great reception for the touchdown. He outplayed the defender for the ball on that play. The guy with the best position usually will come up with it. Sanders catches another touchdown pass. His second now. He'll get set for the extra point. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. Well, John, a short drive, covered the distance, found the end zone, six points. Your job as an offense is not to worry about how long or how short of a field you have to go. Their job is to produce points. When they do, it fires up the defense to get out there and give them the ball back. The key here is to step up into the pocket. Make sure you get those feet set before you throw it. Miller using split backs. Pressure coming, working downfield, and he's brought down in the backfield. My God, friends. Good pressure leading to the set. Not many quarterbacks are able to escape when he's coming after you. When he breaks free or he comes in clean, he can really do some damage in the backfield. Set! Man in motion. Surveying the field with the throw. This one falls incomplete. Okay, go on a quick down here and just sling that ball in there. Set. Dropping back. Pressure. Throws it. On the line. They couldn't get the ball past the first down marker. I don't know why the receiver would break off that route and make the catch short of the first down. Maybe he thought that he'd be able to do more with it after he caught it. Looks like he's calling an audible. Yellow, 25. Yellow, 58. Red, 58. Miller with a man in motion. Cross play to the left. Steve rolls the defender. Thomas picks up just enough for the first. Get him thinking pass and then surprise him with a drop run. The backs are lined up in an eye. The Bears using motion. Going to the air on first down. Rolling left. Gets rid of it with the adjustment. He has it. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. First and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Sideline to sideline. And a blast set. Booker, the motion man. Drops back. Closing in. Looking for a receiver with the throw. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. Miller sets up. Under pressure, surveying the field. Gets rid of it, incomplete. He came free on that play, but he couldn't make the catch. He looked like he had it, but he just couldn't get it under control. Ball on the 37-yard line. Looks like he's calling an audible. Thomas. And he's brought down at the 36-yard line. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 36-yard line. Allen, the lone back. Come on, D up. Cowboy. You got him, you got him. Pressure coming. Looking for an option. Stepping up with a deep throw to the right side. Almost done. Let an opportunity go right through his hands. Stay, he was looking for the big play the other way, and he let that ball go right through his fingers. Out of the gun. Using motion. Dropping back. Rosen. On the money. The 30. Be aware of the defensive set. You've got to take what they're giving you. Thomas, the long setback. The Bears. Using motion. Played that one perfectly. Well, they tried to run the counter, but it took a long time to develop, and the linebacker was right there to break it up. So two minutes left before halftime. All right, go for the long ball here. Get some air under this thing. Set. 
gets rid of it. The rush was on, but it's a nice game thanks to a nice throw. They knew the defense was coming on a blitz, and when the pressure doesn't get to the quarterback quickly enough, somebody's going to be open downfield. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Miller sends a man in motion. Looking downfield with the pass. Great throw. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here, but this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Drops back, throwing short to the right side. Tackle at the one. He tried the screen there, but he couldn't find much room to run. Screen passes are good options when you want to try and fool the defense or there's nothing open downfield. Calling an audible. Here come the heat. Yellow, 74. Sideline to sideline. Blue, 74. Come on, partner. Man in motion. Going to the left. Touchdown, Chicago. The former second round pick out of Michigan. Got the carry and put it in for six for the second time. He gets set for the extra point. The kick is up. Enger misses the point after. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Good kick should be returnable. From the seven. And we'll see if they can move the ball as well through the air this time as they did after scoring a touchdown on their last possession. And now they have a fresh set of downs to work with as they try to get some points before the half. Passing on first down. He's taken down in the backfield by Robinson. Clearly, they'll need a revised game plan in the second half in order to mount a comeback. Following the sack, it's second and long. McNair gets set. 94! Drop the heat! George! Chicago calls a timeout. That's their third and final timeout. The backs are lined up in an eye. Using motion. Hand it off. A couple, maybe three yards on that one. Time to call the special teams play. And there's a flag on the play. Offside. And he jumps the snap count. The defense needs to concentrate better than that. Nothing frustrates a coach more than a penalty like that. The defense did a nice job of stopping them on third down. And if we see a punt and they could get a decent return, they might have enough time for a field goal before halftime. Here's the punt. From the 33. Across midfield. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 38-yard line. You better kick it here. It's first and ten. Robinson, the motion man. Throwing on first down. Looking downfield. Gets rid of it. You better kick it here. They're looking at about a 55-yard attempt here. He'll really need to hit it perfectly. And it's up. It had enough distance, but he missed it to the left. So at halftime, it's anyone's game with the score. Chicago 20, Tennessee 17. Let's get back to the play on the field. The kickoff team lines up. And he got all of that one. 
great thing. Chicago is looking to add to their slim lead as they take over on offense. Well, John, as predicted at the start of the game, the defenses are dictating the pace of play. Yeah, they sure are. They're really taking the offenses out of the game, playing a run tough and shutting down the pass. Throws it. Here's an open. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 34. Be patient out there. When you see an opportunity, that's when you attack. But don't force it. Looks like he's calling an audible, using motion. Hand it off to the back. They'll mark it at the 38. Decent game, about four. Be aware of the pressure here. If you feel the heat, you got to make quick decisions. Just make sure they're good ones. Only one man back. Ball on the 38-yard line. Man in motion. Pressure with the throw. Hits him in stride. You can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. Keep the defense guessing. Don't forget to use misdirection and play action to keep them off balance on passing down. To the air on first down. Surveying the field. Launches it deep to the left. He's there for the catch. Well, he's shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. So they have first and ten here. Ball on the 16-yard line. Thomas is the deep back. First and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Blue Directing 16. traffic. Hand it off. And the back picks up about two on that carry. You guys can smell the end zone. Give it to your back and let him finish this drive off. Matthew sets up the Bears using motion. Get in there, run. Hawk our run. We'll see. Thomas can't bring him down. Nice pickup on the ground, maybe about six. Okay, you should be able to run the ball and get the yards you need here. They're down inside the ten. So they've had a lot of success so far in the red zone, and they'll try obviously to continue that here. Matthews with a man in motion. Chicago calls a timeout. They have two remaining. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Directing traffic. Hands it off. The back picks up about two on that carry. Melissa, what's up? I just spoke with the trainer, and he told me they're going to run a few x-rays on him in the locker room, but as of Yellow, now, 25. his return is doubtful. Thanks Yellow. for that report, Melissa. Yellow, 58. Blue, 58. Green, 74. Yellow, 25. Gets the toss to the right. Touchdown, Chicago. He just got it across the goal line. Yeah, you knew where he wanted to go. And he got there. So he takes it into the end zone for the third time today. Set. The kicking team heads out onto the field. Hut. And it's on its way. The point after is good. And so they turn that drive into a great one as it ends with a touchdown. The thing that most impressed me about that last drive was the offensive line. They did a good job controlling the line of scrimmage keeping their quarterback healthy and on his feet. A strong offensive line is the first and most important component to an effective offense. From the nine. Missed tackle hurdles the defender. The Titans will start the drive from the 33. Here's a good defense for this situation. They'll start the drive at the 33-yard line. First and 10. Set. Looking to run it here. 
George. Couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. And they get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. Ain't got nothing. Uh -oh. On the carry. Nice play for it. This pass is incomplete. That incomplete pass will bring up third down. Chicago lines up with seven guys in the secondary. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. You might want to drop back a little deeper on this play. Step up in the pocket and let her fly. Matthews gets set. Man in motion. Hands it off to the back. Pick up of about six yards. Get him thinking pass and then surprise him with a draw play. Booker moves in motion. Dropping back, throws it. Perfect throw. He was able to keep his feet inbounds to make the catch. That type of catch requires some serious body control. You're stretching for the ball, and yet you must have the presence of mind to make sure you keep both feet inbounds for the catch. Matthew, see something in the defense. Yellow, 25. Green, 25. The Bears using motion. Running to the right side. Thomas just squeaks by the first down marker. Keep the defense guessing. Don't forget to use misdirection and play action to keep them off balance on passing down. Matthews sets up using motion. Pass play here on first down. Closing in. Looking for a receiver. It's ready. He finds his man. Good catch by the receiver on that play. Yeah, he made sure he was in the clear. Moved into position and made the catch. Thomas in the backfield. Calling an audible now. Baxter moves in motion. Give it to the halfback. Break free. Gets the call. Picks up four, maybe five there. Third and maybe two. Ball on the 21-yard line. Looks like he's changing the play. Man in motion. Bosses it right. Loses one tackle, keeping him at bay. Putting together a nice drive here. And they're frustrating this defense in the process. Two times they've converted on third down. Set. We got nothing. Yo, Changing the play now. Let's go, come on. Come on, D up. Hut. He gets the carry. Gain of about one. Okay, now you're close. Get even closer with this pass. Second down, goal to go. Blue, Matthew, see back. something in the defense. Picks up five. Trust your guys up front to make some room for you. Follow your best blocker right in here for a score. Only one man back. Under pressure. Throwing short to his left. And it's caught. 
A lot of times this defense comes up with a big stop. They're back up in their own end zone trying to keep those guys off the board, and they make a play like that. That's a heck of a defensive play. Man in motion. Throws it on the money. Touchdown, Bears. Hardy Booker made a better play on that touchdown catch than his previous one. Edinger comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up. The point after is good. What a shift in this one. 20 unanswered points for them. They're just pouring it on. They're really starting to dominate. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Good distance. From the seven-yard line. Stiff arm. Clears the defender. The last time the offense had the ball, they gave it away on an interception. Let's see what happens this time down the field. They'll go from the eye formation. First and ten. Buses grew. Deal. The Titans using motion. 94. Pass play to the right. Gain of about one. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Bears ahead of the Titans, 34, 17. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Let's go, come on, Cowboy! All right, pick him out. Dropping back. Gets the pass off, and it's caught. Receiver showing us soft hands on that reception. The guy's been working really hard trying to improve. Looks like all that extra work is paying dividends. Third down and short. Ball on their own 32. McNair sets up with the throw. The pass was incomplete. That pass was right there, but he was unable to hang on. Looked like he had it, but the thing just popped right out of there. You got it, you got it. Throws it. This pass is incomplete. And when you're down by this much, you're forced to go for it, but they came up short. Didn't it? Get some time in the pocket and be patient with it. Don't force it into coverage. Here come the heat. Thomas is the deep pass. Hand it off to the back. Off and run. He's at the 20. Good moves on that run. Yeah, I'll tell you, that's good running out there. It's first and 10. This team has been unstoppable inside the red zone today. Yellow, 74. Hawkeye right. Baxter moves in motion. Thomas. About a four-yard gain there. Okay, now you're close. Get even closer with this pass. Only one man in the backfield. On the 12-yard line. Deal, Rod. Snake eyes. This team has been putting up good numbers inside the 20 here today. Red, 74. Get him low. Get out. Red, 16. 16. Using motion. Get at him, team. He'll get it again. Thomas was stuffed on that play, John. They're just relentless when the offense decides to run the ball. They break down blocks very quickly. They do a good job maintaining their gap assignments, limiting cutback opportunities. The backs are lined up in an eye. Here comes the heat. Yeah. Robinson, the motion man. Pressure coming. Rose it. 
And this pass is incomplete. With that drop, it's now fourth down. The offensive coordinator called a good play, and the quarterback threw him a catchable ball. He just couldn't get his hands in the proper position to make the catch. Man in motion. Slings it to the outside. So they turn the ball over. Well, I guess they don't mind gambling with this lead, huh? They line up in the I formation. George. Gain of a couple on that carry. With the pass, with the adjustment, he has it. How about that speed? Great individual effort. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first down. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Pressure. McNair just couldn't get away from the rush. The offensive line just lost the battle up front on that play. They have to keep their shoulders square, keep their inside foot up, and they're going to get beat again and again. You got him. Huh? A lot of room to work with. Trying to avoid the hit by sliding feet first. Chicago looking for pass with only three down linemen and seven DBs on the field. Looks like they'll play bump and run on the outside. Dropping back. Closing in. Gets the pass off. Jumps and makes the catch. This is just a great play to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. And it's fourth down. You got one last shot to do it, and they do it perfectly. Let's go. Come on. They give it to the halfback. George was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows them to hold up against the run while also giving them the speed to rush the passer when they drop back the pass. And this is the eighth play of this drive. There he goes. Runs through the tackle. He tried to create something on his own there. Yeah, he really dug in to give extra effort that he needed to get in there. Drops back. Couldn't escape the pass rush. They got to find a way to give him a little more time back here. The defense was a man covered. He had some options out there in the second half. He just didn't have the time to decide where he wanted to go with it. This is a situation where they just have to go for it. Incomplete pass. Didn't get the first down they needed, John. Well, they're at the point of the game where they have to try something. Heck, next time maybe you try something else, but you can understand why they want to go for it here. He tucks it away. Tackle at the 45. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Calling an audible now. Man in motion. Dropping back with the throw. Hits him in stride. Matthew flings that pass in there. Now that is a great throw. The quarterback surveyed the field, found the open guy, and got the ball to him in a hurry. Looks like he's calling an audible. Take him out. Here come the heat. Hand it off to the back. 
four, maybe five yards on that carry. Keep this to the inside. You just need to run that clock down. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Bears using motion. Leave it off. He goes down at the 31 yard line. John, he's hurt. We'll get an update from Melissa as soon as the extent of the injury is known. He's looking. Rolls right. Throwing. Big opening. He is at the 20. This one is just about in the book. They'll go from the I formation. Seven, Directing traffic. 74. Red. 74. Blue. 58. Yellow. 25. Hut. They'll go with a run once again. Thomas eclipses the 100 yard mark on that carry. Gain of four on the play. Second and five. Set. They got nothing. They got nothing. Bring the pay. Chicago will call a timeout here. They have one remaining. <laughs> Melissa, what can you tell us about his injury? I'm told that it's a very serious injury, Al. They're Set. planning to run some additional Hut. tests, but there's a good chance that he's seen his last action of the season. A very tough blow for his team. That was Melissa Stark with her sideline report. <laughs> This game reaches its conclusion with the final score, Chicago 34, Tennessee 17. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports. Here is tonight's horse trailer player of the game.